Y'all know what it is, it's Alonzo the Rebel. I know I haven't been on this channel. I'll make this really quick, cause it's super hot in this room and that light is not making it better. <laughs> so I just saw Islander this past Friday night. Much needed and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, they were headlining on a seven day tour for the month of June before their uh, corn tour. Sorry, I don't rehearse, I just say stuff and it, it just happened. But anyway, I saw some dope, awesome openers and co-headliners and other bands with the band. Y'all know I'm about to talk about them, right? So first up, we got Eye Candy. Not sure if they're local, but they sound awesome. They were cool. They was dope. I even got their CD. I haven't listened to, hey, there's stuff on the back. Look at that. But I'll go ahead and plug their contact info, like right here or something, or lid, you already know. Cause I just found it on the back. Check out eye candy. Also, I saw Listeria, not Listeria, like it's not Listeria either, okay? I saw Listeria for the second time. The first time was in Palatine at that one bar, I forgot. But I saw them again. It was kind of weird but entertaining and funny because the bass player kept having issues with his um, sound, it wasn't working. It wasn't funny, like, haha, that's, uh, that's unfortunate, but it was just like, he was being entertaining about it. He was frustrated, but he kept it going. Big ups to him. I know that's like one of the suckiest things about, you know, performing live, but hey, he was still entertaining. We were laughing and he still did his thing. So big ups to him. Listera, Lid, if I could find it. I don't know where I could find it, but I'm gonna find it somewhere. Cause you know I'm savvy like that. Then for the first time I saw the funeral portrait. This is very interesting because right when they started, the vibe that I got from them was My Chemical Romance. And that's a huge thing because, you know, we don't know if they're gonna do a reunion or anything like that. But from the lead, he reminded me of Gerard Way so much. Everybody had high, intense energy. And y'all already know I love that when it comes to just life in general but especially performing live because if you are performing and energetic and like really what is this i don't know what this is <laughs> we're really illustrating the emotion that you are trying to portray bam that sounds really good i should have wrote that as a thesis or something but when you do that i'm telling you the whole concert experience is just raised to the whole next level they were awesome i got their cd as well it's still like glary you know because i ain't opening yet because I'm debating if I want to open it because, you know, it, it's like special and stuff. But also, Lid, Funeral Portrait, you got a new fan. Then I saw, again, for the second time, Bad Seed Rising. They're freaking awesome. Okay, well, I guess technically the third time because I saw them twice back to back on a Friday and Saturday or the third, I don't know, sometime last year. But they were dope as well. Come on now, the drummer is a beast. The guitarist's... RBs, I can't do, what is it, T-S, plural, stuff like guests, I added like 17 other syllables. But Bad Seed Rising, check them out, lid. Check out their album too, because I bought the album back in October, and I didn't listen to it until like a couple weeks ago, just now. Don't ask me why, I, for some reason I just didn't get into it, but I opened it, and I was like, why was I sleeping on Bad Seed Rising, you see the sweat, because it's hot. It wasn't there before when I clicked the video. But check out their album, Awaken Color, I believe it is called. I'm going to try to do it lid. You already know. And then, of course, we got the homies, Islander. Saw them again. They were performing, or Mikey was performing with David, Eric, and Andrew. All three new guys are the bomb. Well, David's not really new. He was filling in for Zeke before, but it was awesome seeing him again, especially healthy, because last time he was very, very sick and, like, pneumonia and... I think, I don't know. But anyway, it was awesome seeing them again. Just, you already know, they rocked the house. Like, hold on, wait. Before I go more into Islander, um, first of all, my hair is actually super long and curly and being a bad child. But going back to Bad Seed Rising, I copped a shirt from them. And three of the members signed. I couldn't find the fourth one. But I have my first official Bad Seed Rising long tee. Now, I don't know when I'm going to wear this because, you know, I'm sweating. I'm like, my body's crying. I feel like I just jumped in a pool or something, but I didn't. Damn, a pool sounds really good right now. But I got the first shirt. Shout out to Bad Seed Rising. 
Now going back to Islander. So I went all out once again with the merch. Okay, I'm very proud of myself too. Shirt number one, if I could unfold it and grab it because I'm so excited. Shirt number one, the new one from Islander. Okay, Islander on the front. And then bam, this badass design on the back. Yes. Yes, 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 and more yes. Love this shirt already. Don't know where I'm going to wear it. Because when it comes to new shirts, I typically don't wear it for like, I don't know, like three to four months after I bought it because it's just so new. I, it's like a special occasion shirt. Okay, I am not the only one that thinks like that because Mikey thinks the same way about that. So I'm, I'm kind of pretty happy. Shirt number two. Okay, Death is the Shepherd. Let's get it. Okay, love this freaking shirt. Like, I love all merch from Islander. Like, oh, God, I just want to buy it. everything. Then my favorite thing that came up, you know what? We're doing this now. This is actually turning into an unboxing number seven, I believe. I need to hurry up, because I'm like, oh, this is real. This is real. I got a freaking Islander flag. Fail. I don't even buy flags. I don't know what's the last, if I ever bought a flag, like what year was it? Like mom and dad, like tell me what it is. But I got my first official flag, Islander flag. It is going right over the progression, okay? I don't know if I'm gonna take it down or like put it over it or something like that, but this flag is now gonna be the backdrop to these videos right now. It, it's real. I was so excited when they were re releasing this. I'm like, fam, I've never wanted a flag so much in my life, but I'm getting a flag now. And then finally, finally, it's crumpled up right now, but I got an, hey, 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 hair, what you doing? I have an official, or, I have a set list, okay, I'm excited. I've never been so excited about a piece of paper in my life. I have the set list from the show that I went to. Casket is the last, first of all, new song, Sum that, there we go. Summer, okay, that song is awesome. I can't wait until it's released. It is amazing, it's really funky and upbeat and crazy. I love it, okay? Casket was a little hard to listen to, but I was still jamming out to the best of my ability for obvious reasons, and you already know that. But I finally got a set list, I'm so happy. And then bam, got another pick from the homie David, who's the bassist, if people didn't know that. Got another pick, I don't know what, one, two, three, four, I think number five, maybe five or six. I don't know. I'm looking at like the picks that I have right now. But yes, I got it once again, a new pick. Now I got to get one from Andrew and maybe a drumstick from... No, Andrew's the drum... Wow, look at me. I need to get a pick from Eric and a drumstick from Andrew. So you already know. If y'all watching this, hey, next time I see you, I'm looking for you for those. The concert was a huge success. I love the guy so much. They love us, the support is has ah. the support has been immense for the band, especially with the transitioning happening and all that kind of stuff. And it's been kind of difficult, but it's working out for uh, everybody in the best way possible. If you have a chance to see them on tour, you already know, go check it out at weareislander.com. Or check out the Facebook page, the Instagram, the Twitter. Just check out the social media handles for Islander. I'm telling you, see these guys live. Because you can only get those shirts at the shows, okay? They're not online anywhere. You gotta see them live and why not? See the other bands as well because they're dope. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because my, my face is probably is so filthy and dirty right now from all the sweat. I've been sweating for like seven hours straight. I've been just sitting here. Well, not sitting here for seven hours. No matter how much it hurts before, when to keep that PMA to Lonzo Gaming. Oh, wow. Why am I doing the gaming outro? Bruh. No matter how much it hurts, move forward and keep that PMA to Lonzo the Rebel. And I need to get myself together because I'm... I need to have a different outro for my gaming stuff or something like that, but let me stop because I'm like, oh, drenched and soaked right now. We are the ones that wanna crash your party, wave a good time, surfing up gnarly, jeans with some shots, grab a tease, and a snapback, kicking on the door at your crib, where the party at? We're raising hell, always gotta be on something, DJ turn me up a little louder cause, cause I bump it. it, don't know about y'all, but my life, I'ma live it, to those that's hating on me, I don't care, I don't give a